Hi everyone, my name is Hugh Gartizer, and uh, in this video what I'm going to show you is um, I've got a customer that has a, a beautiful hardwood floor. Uh, this, this hardwood floor is um, it's real wood and it's all glued down on the floor here. And she's got some pieces uh, that were left over from the installation. And what I'm going to show you is a trick. Uh, it's not really a trick. It's a technique, I guess. Okay, sorry, I keep getting calls. This is a technique to show you how to replace or repair uh, damaged pieces of, of hardwood on a hardwood floor. This, if I, if I got that across, uh, the dog peed on this. And the dog peed on it, and it stained the wood right in the entryway, and it looked horrible, and it smelled horrible. And, um, and I don't know if in the other part of the video, uh, this is the tool that, uh, that cuts it. Uh, this is a rigid brand um, tool that has a blade like this, multi-purpose blade. And when you pull the trigger, that thing cuts back and forth. And it's a 90 degree angle. And what you do is you get it started right in the next to the good piece of wood. Uh, you see how these seams are? You get this thing started and uh, you put it right down here and then on, on the pieces that are bad. And you know, like starting in this, this is the piece I replaced for her already. But I'm gonna kind of hold this and, and show you how this tool, you just get it started right down on the line next to the, another piece. And you get a groove started and you walk it down in there and uh, this wood is not very thick it's probably about a quarter of an inch and and you cut all the way through to the concrete and then once you've cut a piece out and you got one of them out this is the glue that holds it all down uh, we're going to be scraping all of that up but uh, uh, you just walk down beside all the pieces i'll show you in just a little bit when i get a few more pieces out uh, but you need a flat blade a flat blade uh, tool like this right here is a uh, gasket scraper. It's kind of sharp and uh, that's what we're going to use to get down underneath it also uh, to get this glue up uh, because we're going to be gluing down the new pieces. The new pieces are over here and uh, these are the pieces that are going to go down here and uh, you can see some of the pieces that I took out uh, that were damaged and uh, you know it's just kind of the pee, the dog urine got down in the crack there and bled over the wood absorbed it and so uh, what you're doing is cutting this out we're going to put these new pieces glue them down in there and then uh, uh, the prepare will be such that uh, you can't see it uh, but you can obviously see the one I've put in because this one was curling up and people were hitting their foot on it and cutting themselves but Anyway, I'm going to move along a little farther because I can't hold this phone and do this at the same time. Once I get two or three out, I'll show you that. And then uh, once it's all finished, I'll show you that. Okay? So uh, hang in there just a minute.
get yourself a groove started right on the line between the two pieces, one that's good and the one that's bad. They're cutting all the way through that down into the, to the concrete level so that you can uh, peel it up. I'll show you in just a second. Try to stay on the line once you get a groove going. like I'm all the way through this one. Take your little flat blade tool that I got here and a hammer and just try to stay on the line and lift it up. Lift up the one you're taking out. You got to go down to the concrete. It, you're cutting through the tongue and groove. These are all connected with the tongue and groove system. Take your tongue, get underneath it. You're going to be filling in the cracks with um, water-based, um, water-based uh, polyurethane clear. That's what you're going to fill these cracks back in with after it's all over. You use water-based so that you can pour it down on the wood because it's already pre-finished. All this wood is already pre-finished. It already has a beautiful finish on it. We're just going to fill in the gaps with uh, polyurethane. And you take a damp sponge and you wipe it off the surface and it stays down in the crack. And once you get it going, you get up underneath it. And here she comes. Remember, these are glued down. You're just trying to get the piece out that's bad so you can cut a new piece to put in there. Putting the new piece in is the easy part. Getting these out is kind of tough. Just got to have the right tool. See, here comes some of it right there. Just get the rest of it out with this tool. Might have to cut a little deeper because it doesn't look like it's all the way through. Once you get to the concrete, you're not going any farther. So then it, you just got to chip it out here. the rest of it and uh, that's kind of the way it works and uh, I've got a lot of these to do so it's about 30 pieces but uh, 
you can easily see how it's done. Just go all the way down and chip them out. The ones that are glued to the floor are the hardest ones to get out. They stay, that's what stays behind the mows. But once you get to it, it's kind of a rubberized glue. It's designed to repel moisture. But you can see right there, I just about got it all out. Okay. And uh, I'll bring that camera over here so you can see it. what's left behind. We're all the way down to the concrete. And, uh, and there's the piece I'm working on. You see it there? You see the glue down in there? Got that one out over there. I'm working on this one right here. This is the little piece. So that, that would be how you would repair this if you were uh, trying to get the camera where you can see it. Um, you know, replacing these pieces. Okay. So anyway, uh, once I get to the end of this, I'll show you um, what it looks like, all right? Okay, here we are. And uh, I kind of forgot to, uh, had to go eat lunch and I uh, needed some blades for my little tool, but uh, I kind of uh, uh, forgot to take a picture or show you a video when I got all these pieces out, but I just now remembered. So let me let you uh, take a look um, at the pieces as they're going back. And uh, can you see that? Uh, I don't know how to turn this thing around while it's running. Um, so let me just turn it off and I'll, I'll turn it on again the other way. Yeah, here we go. That's much better. Yeah, you can see over here, uh, these pieces are already um, replaced. And, um, and, and I'm working down this line right here. Uh, stand up a little bit. Okay, and uh, you can kind of see where um, I've already done these uh, along this other side over here. And now I'm working down this, this piece right here. Uh, this is going to require a little piece down here, and then I'll get the rest of these. I've got a little bit to work with. Uh, there was some left over on some of my tools and things. But uh, as you can see, it's kind of blending in nicely. We got rid of all of the real black stuff and uh, where the dog pee was. Uh, but once all the old boards were out, I, I had a scraper and scraped all the glue off uh, because that would, uh, putting them down on top of the old glue would raise it up a little too much. So, and I'm just gonna kind of show you that, you know, it's human, but um, where the pieces are coming together, it's, it's not unusual to experience a, a little gap because we've had to cut them. And um, this is what the uh, this is what the uh, original uh, gap looked like when the two boards came together. And uh, let me find another one here. Here's one. I mean, that's that's kind of a wide gap. But you know, my gaps are like this. And, and what I'm going to do is take some clear, clear uh, acrylic, the water based, and just kind of kind of pour it down in there. I'm going to pour it till it fills up that little gap. And then I'm just going to wipe off the surface with a sponge, and then that will uh, that will bring that will fill the gap. It'll be kind of shiny, um, have a little little bit of support right there. Once it dries, it'll dry firmly. But that's uh, that's kind of what it looks like, and uh, you know. So uh, if you got to repair some wood in your house, I uh, hope this video helped you. Uh, once again, I'm Hugh Gartizer, and uh, this is the day after Election Day that I did this job, so uh, I'm kind of happy. I was a Trump per uh, person. So, uh, 
you know, if you got to repair some wood in your house and some devastating thing happens, see here's a little spot where the, where the dog peed also. And uh, she wants to go ahead and get that out of there. Kind of these two little places right here also. Nowhere near as bad as, uh, oh, and then there's one more right here. You can see this is uh, a dog kind of got it right there and it peed and the pee got in there and stained the wood. It got between the gap and, st and stained that wood. Let me get that light out of the way. But uh, uh, anyway, that one's going to be taken out also. And uh, here's a board that's been replaced. I did not do this one. It looks like it's out of a different die lot. But uh, anyway, uh, you know, it's a whole lot better than having it look like that. So that's what we're doing. And, uh, you know, as you walk along here, what I've already replaced on the side where the charger is, uh, all of this out in here, I mean, it just really doesn't look that bad. It's, it's acceptable. Okay, y'all have a great day, and I hope this was helpful for you, and uh, if I do another handy little job like this, I'll certainly make a video and let you know how it went. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, getting down to the very last piece. These are the boards that I installed, and uh, what I didn't show you is, is how I glue it down. Uh, you can see I've already put a little bit of glue down in this uh, opening. And uh, here's what I'm using. Everybody's heard of liquid nails uh, for project. It's construction adhesive, liquid nails. And uh, you just squirt a little bit of that down in there. And when you tap down the board, it kind of spreads it out evenly. And uh, I don't know if I can, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to. Let me see if I can get this uh, thing set up right here. While I put this in, ah. uh, probably not. Okay, let's try it the other way. Well, I'm going to try to set this right there. You kind of can't, can't see what I'm doing, but you can barely, I can't get it up high enough to let you see what's going on, but here's what I'm going to do. I'll put this last board in here. You saw I squirted a little bit of liquid nails down in it. And you got a tongue and a groove side. The, the groove side is going to be in the new piece that uh, I put in. And uh, of course you cut the wood to uh, the proper length. Get everything here started. You get the groove down in the groove, the tongue, tongue and groove. And once you get it kind of started down in there, you're going to tap it into place. That's what you hope for anyway. And uh, it, uh, because you're putting several pieces together, it is a little bit, yeah. you'll see it when it goes in. And you start hearing it snapping down in there. And it's a pretty tight fit. Because you don't want a whole bunch of big gaps. This didn't get cut exactly like I wanted. So I take an X-Acto knife, ex uh, not X-Acto, but a utility knife with a real sharp blade because this is hard wood. And just kind of trim away you don't want to beat it too much because if you do, of course you're going to have an awful looking job. This just needed a little bit. I didn't want to beat it more than what I needed to. There it goes. Just kind of clean off the excess right here. Try to make the gaps as tight as we can. But I'm going to fill in with um, water-based clear acrylic. Polyurethane. 
my hammer's got a rubber uh, handle to it, and uh, for this kind of job, see how it sounds pretty solid. We're down in there. That was the last piece. Let me show you. Here it is. Which one is it? I don't know. Oh, it's it's this one right here. That was the last piece I put in. Anyway, there's the finished job. You can see I cut back here. This is the older wood and removed random sized pieces. And once all of my tools are out of the way and I seal those gaps with polyurethane, I think that she's going to be pretty happy because all of that dog pee is gone. And uh, it's just a, there's a piece right here, but it kind of, there's pieces like that everywhere. But I think if you saw it before, which uh, you did at the beginning of this video, that's it. And uh, I got a few more to do over there, but uh, the biggest part of it where that dog just peed and peed and peed, it turned the wood black. And that's the repair, and I think that uh, I think that everybody's going to be pretty happy. Okay, well that may be it. I won't bore you with the other pieces, but uh, you just uh, try to make tight cuts and fill in the little bitty inconsistencies because all of this wood is glued down. If this were all uh, pergo type wood, the floating floor, this would have been a huge, much easier project but uh, see that piece over there that's the dog pee okay y'all have a good day thanks for watching bye